So what do you think? It looks nice, Zach. Only one problem. Garland doesn't go on the floor. So sue me. Hey, everyone. Merry Christmas, Matthew. Well, it's not Christmas yet, Stanley. It's December 17th. Well, why are we decorating now? Better early than at the last minute. Because if we decorated the living room at the last minute, the room would just look like a sloppy mess. It's like first graders racing through math tests. Hmm, good point. You know, Matthew, I'm actually quite pleased that instead of just using the main characters, you included all of the characters. Yep, I wanted to take advantage of my time, work hard, and think big. Hey, Matthew, I got the extra Christmas lights. They were not easy to untangle. Thanks, Chompy. He's big. Indeed. Why do you have a camera? You'll see. Hey, Victor, could you hang the mistletoe in that doorway? Thanks. Gotcha! Now this is a photo worth treasuring. Oh, you're taking photographic Christmas memories? Yep, I just love looking back at memories during the Christmas season. And would you just look at Victor and Penny? Aren't they just cute together? Well, that's too sweet. I'm already starting to get a cavity. Hey, Matthew! Watch this! Woo! I gotta get a shot of that, too! Smile! Thank you! I was born to be a star! <laughs> I can see. Ooh! Hey, Willie! Those hats look great on you guys! I gotta take a picture! Oh, great! Walker, I told you he would take a picture, but as always, you never listen. Shut up, Wilson. Say cheese! Cheese! Gorgonzola! Cheddar! Swiss! Provolone! Monster! Monterey Jack! Brie! Cuda! Mozzarella! Parmesan! Ricotta! Blue cheese! Perfect! Thanks, guys! Anytime! Really, Watson? Blue cheese? Blech! What was I supposed to say? You guys already took the other kinds of cheese! All right, everyone. Time to go to the conference room to discuss the Christmas list. <laughs> I know you're all excited, but we have to keep things in order. So please form a single file line and don't trample me like last year. <laughs> Ow. All right, everyone. I've got the Christmas list. Just tell me what you want and I'll write it down. I'd like a new trombone. All right, a new trombone for Stanley. Yar, a hook of golden texture, maybe, Watton. A golden hook for Captain McMallard. Size 3,214 shows. Size 3 Junk. cookbook. I want to improve my extreme comedic talent. A guide to being a better shapeshifter. I can never get Jungle Gym right. <coughs> See, I look like a pretzel. <laughs> okay, a joke book, a shapeshifting guide, and a Carol King's Jazzman CD for Freddy, Wacky, and Donald. I want to make my smile even shinier. I want a toothbrush. No, an electric toothbrush. Sunglasses. I want to look cool. Plaid colored pajamas, laddie. Okay, what about you, Mr. Yell Voice? A megaphone! Somehow I get the feeling that nobody can hear me good enough! Okay, I'll think about it. A new light bulb for my hat, but 150 watts for my brighter ideas. Barbershop Quartet Songbook! We want to improve our Looking forward to Christmas, huh? Glasses with four lenses. I'd like some ligaments. My limbs keep falling apart. Que lo un sombrero para la Navidad. Four lens glasses, ligaments, and a sombrero for Charles Four Eyes, Mr. Incredibone, and El Toro. I'd like a turtleneck sweater. I'd like a giraffe neck sweater. Okay, that just sounded like a cheap joke, but okay. I'd like a giraffe neck sweater too, but with a turtle shell pattern. A new watch. This one looks too complex for me. A piano! You don't have fingers, Zack. Okay, a self-playing piano. A new helmet, with a drawing of a bat on it. Vampire bat or baseball bat? Does it look like I play baseball?! Okay, okay, a new helmet with a vampire bat drawing on it for Count Quarterbacula. Binoculars! Okay, wait, why? So I can see what you're writing in your diary. What? Oh, nothing. I'd like some stilts. I don't like people looking down at me like I'm some little kid. A shinier bag. A comb for my afro. A scientist's lab coat. A diamond encrusted belt. A leather jacket. Name and tag. Clogs. Earmuffs. More bells. <laughs> okay, is that all? We're not done yet. We're here. Okay, I'm done. Matthew, I gotta ask, how are you going to pay for all of this? Hmm, that's a good question. Professor Quartyson, could you calculate the cost? Okay, let me see the list.
The exact total will be $29,897. 29,000! Didn't let me finish. $29,897.01. For all those presents? Well, 299 of us did ask for presents. 299? Yeah, the computer virus kid was kind of silent during that clamor. Oh, that's right. Victor didn't ask for anything. Victor, what would you like? A cure for my adware flu? Gesundheit. $102.99 for a bottle of medicine? Well, Matthew, the ingredients for that cure are very scarce. Now the gift total is an exact $30,000. Well, you guys really want those presents, and Victor really needs that cure. I actually have enough money in my bank account to buy the gifts. Uh, Matthew? Yes, Ryan? You don't. What? You have zero dollars in your account. I have no money! Wait! No, you don't. You have a penny! I only have one penny? Yep, and here she is! Wacky, that's not funny. Put Penny down. Okay. <sighs> what am I gonna do? How am I going to get $30,000 before Christmas? Well, Matthew, we don't really need the gifts. Christmas isn't really about what you get. No, no, you guys really deserve the gifts. It's the least I could do since you helped me with all the animations I made. Oh, thank goodness! I can't believe I was willing to give up those boxing gloves I always wanted. Wait, there's one person who can help. Who? Santa Claus. Uh, Santa Claus? Yeah, all we have to do is mail him the list and the presents will be here by Christmas morning. Stanley? Yes? Well, how can I put this delicately? Um, Santa, he's, well, he's not real. Huh? Not real? You're lying. I don't believe you. Stanley, it's not possible for someone to travel around the planet and give everyone on Earth presents in just one night. Well, who got all the presents last year? I did. I won the lottery a couple days before last Christmas, and I used it to buy last year's gifts. Did you also eat the- THAT MILK AND COOKIES?! Blech! I fed those to Wacky Quacky. Yep, I can eat just about anything, except for safety pins. They're really sharp. I should have known. Wait, Stanley, I didn't mean to upset you. I'll think of something. I promise. <sighs> I feel awful. You feel awful? I think I'm starting to reject those cookies from last year. <laughs> Well, Matthew, what are you going to do now? There's only one thing I can think of. I'm going to have to work some extra jobs in order to pay for all of this. Extra jobs? Like what? Whatever it takes to get me $30,000 by the end of the week. Haven't you made a whole bunch of money from the animations you made? Didn't you already see my bank account? Oh, yeah. How many jobs do I need to pay for everything, Professor? Well, to make a lot of money, you need to work nine jobs a day for each day of the week, including Sundays. Which means you'd have to work 63 jobs. 63? Well, I guess I could do that. Oh, come on, Matthew. By the time you come home, you'll be more worn out than a pair of damaged shoes. If it'll pay for the gifts, I can take it. So, does anyone have any job ideas? Well, there's an opening at the zoo. There's also an opening at the lava lamp factory. I heard from Jojo that she needs a test subject. I hear there's a building that needs to be painted. Nobody likes a dull gray. We need an extra player on our football team. And there's always the classic lemonade stand. Yes, yes! Great ideas, guys. At this rate, before the end of the week, I'll probably have enough money to buy twice as much Christmas presents. Everyone keep your fingers crossed, because I'm gonna work like I've never worked before! I'm doomed. I got nothing to worry about. I'll earn 30 grand in no time. It's not like I'm gonna fail miserably at each upcoming job. I'll probably succeed in this one. Or maybe not. It sure was nice of you to oil the windmill. Anything to earn me a lot. Ooh, don't oil it too much. That windmill is extremely sensitive. Come on, Roger. I'm sure it's not that bad. Ah! I stand corrected. No, you lay there with a collapsed windmill on you corrected. Now this is a classic way. Hey, Ryan, care for some lemonade? Sure. I'll come back six months ago, then I'll buy all the lemonade you have. <laughs> Nobody's gonna buy a cold drink in cold weather. So much for the classic way. Ah! Are you sure you got this, Matthew? Come on, McGee, I know how construction works. And besides, this would earn me plenty of money. 
And I think this may be an easy job as long as I don't fall off the beer. Ooh, you're gonna feel that tomorrow. Feel what? <laughs> that. Donald, I told you I can't play any instrument. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'll give it a try. <gasps> Oh, sorry, did I say something in your language? <laughs> Who did I call in that case? <laughs> oh, he sure is. <laughs> Listen, can we talk about that debate later? Well, at least I didn't get hurt this time. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I meant by being under the spotlight! Test subject. I don't know, Jojo. Are you sure there won't be any side effects? Jojo has double-checked this machine, Matthew. Don't be concerned. Okay. Ah! You said there wouldn't be any side effects! No, I said that Jojo has double-checked the machine and that you shouldn't be concerned. If I had told you you would have grown four more limbs and an extra head, you would have ran out. Wait! Jojo came up with an antidote! Now this is simple. Just painting the wall with water and mopping the floor with... Paint? Oh no! I gotta fix this! I gotta fix this! I don't know about this platypus. This sewing machine doesn't look safe. I just know that I'm gonna get my fingers hurt by this thing. Just relax, Matthew. Sewing cloth helps de-escalate your nerves. Doesn't the simplicity help relax you? Hmm, <sighs> you know something, platypus? I think you're right. I feel much better. I think this may actually be ease. Why am I suddenly feeling sharp, intense pain? <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you could join my team. We've been searching for an extra player. Just one question. How strong is the team that we're playing against? Mommy! Hike! Wait! I do not know, Matthew. This is your 30th job this week. Are you okay with working the deep fryer? I've deep fried food before, Yancey. I can do this. Oh, really? That's great! For a second there, I thought you were going to fall into the deep fr- <gasps> Matthew! I hate my life. I'm a plumber now. This better work. I've been hurt so many times, it's not funny anymore. Whatever got flushed down here, it stuck good. Try flushing it again. Okay. <laughs> my bongos! I was wondering where I put these. My 63rd job this week. Mall Santa. If this doesn't earn me money, I give up. Well, I guess today's kind of a slow day. I guess I'll just have to wait. Where is everyone? <sighs> I knew this wouldn't work out. Well, at least nothing bad happened. Whoa! Chuck one up for McGee! <laughs> hey, Matthew. You still recovering from falling off that beam? I told you you should have worn a hard hat. McGee! What are you doing? Demolishing the mall. Demolishing the mall? What are you, deaf? That's what I said. But, but why? I needed this mall Santa job to earn money to buy the Christmas presents. Why are you tearing this place down? Well, nobody ever came around to this mall anymore due to it being condemned. Wh why was the mall condemned? Well, an explosion happened at the lava lamp factory not too long ago, and the lava traveled its way over to the mall's floorboards that you're standing on right now. <laughs> you may want to put that in ice. 63 jobs in one week. I feel like I've been crushed by a car compactor. Twice. Where's the light switch? I need to look at the calendar and see what day it is. <laughs> Forget it, I'm gonna have to light a match. Christmas is tomorrow! Oh, come on, not this! Please, not this! What do I do? What do I do? Fire! <laughs> Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. What have I done? What have I done? WHAT HAVE I DONE?! Why are you asking me? You're the one who burnt it. We can't have Christmas without a tree, but I don't have the money to buy a new one. What am I gonna do? That's it! Oh, I see. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> I'll just simply cut down one of these trees, bring it into the house, and that'll solve this dilemma. Why'd you bring me along? I need you to turn yourself into a chainsaw so I can cut this tree down. I don't take requests. What? I turn into random things spontaneously. I can't turn into things on demand. Ugh! 
How am I supposed to cut this tree down? Oh yeah, I brought this chainsaw. Thank you, Wacky. You're welcome! See? Spontaneous! Yeah, they really don't call you Wacky Quacky for nothing. Matthew saws through one fourth of the tree. The tree has not collapsed yet, folks. Matthew saws through the second, now third, and not breaking a sweat. This is it, people. One last fourth, and Matthew is willing to saw it no matter what the risk. Is he gonna make it? Unbelievable! Matthew wins! Congratulations, Matthew. You have successfully sawed through this tree. What are you going to do next? I'm going to dis- Wait a minute. Wacky, you're distracting me. Can't you see that I need to get this to the house before midnight? All right. <laughs> Uh, Matthew, I don't want to sound nosy or anything, but aren't you worried about which direction the tree is going to fall? Phew, that was close. Am I right, Wacky? <gasps> WACKY! That's my name. Wacky, speak to me. Are you okay? Zipper, fire hydrant, smoke alarm, broom, doorbell, pogo stick, clipboard, flag, sun hat, yo yo, movie projector, traffic light, cell phone, toilet plunger, juice box, eraser, septic tank, submarine, roller coaster, pool table, mattress, colored pencil! You're not okay. Let me get you to bed. What? Damaged brain, not I'm fine, perfectly I'm. Treaty about what? Luckily, I speak backwards. Wacky, well feeling, not your. Better feel you until bed and late to need you. Why? Fiddle A as fit as I'm. You're as fit as a fiddle, huh? What's the color of your feathers? Blue? What's the first letter in your name? M. Which way is up? What animal are you? Eggplant. Get some rest. Me to this too, can't you? Surfboard, horseshoe, staircase, curtains, quilt, self dispenser, microwave, necktie, Freddy Krueger! Great. No tree, no presents, Stanley's depressed, and now Wacky's injured. Things can't get any worse. Wait. What's gonna happen to Victor if I don't get that adware flu cure anytime soon? What would be the negative outcome? I gotta think of something. Yes! My paycheck! Those jobs really did pay off! 63 cents?! Why?! You were at each job for a short period of time, that's why. Ah! This is absolutely wonderful! This measly amount of money won't be enough to buy me even one present! Great. Now I'm back to where I started. Penniless. Stanley? You okay? Listen. I'm sorry about telling you that Santa wasn't real. Oh, don't apologize, Matthew. I was a fool to believe that one man could travel around the world in one night and deliver presents to millions of people. Billions, actually. I'm starting to think, what if everything I ever believed in is a lie? Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, the Sandman, the Easter Bunny, Milton Burl. Milton Bur- Stanley, don't worry. I'll get those presents. It may be a stressful journey for me, but I'll get you that trombone. I promise. That trombone doesn't really matter anymore. I'm too depressed to play a single note. What can I do to make you feel better? There's nothing, Matthew. Please leave me. Well, okay. And Stanley, Milton Berle wasn't really a mi- Never mind. Poor Stanley. I feel awful. Why don't I ever think before I say- ah! Matthew! Professor Quirtison? What is it? Something terrible! Catastrophically terrible! What? The bulb on your hat broke again? What? No, it's fine, see? But that's not what I'm panicking about! It's Victor's adware flu! Relax, as soon as I get enough money, I'll buy the cure for his sickness eventually. Probably not as early as tomorrow morning. If I'm lucky, I'll get it in a couple of weeks. That's just it! He needs to be cured now! I know, I'll get it as soon as I can. Just give me a couple of weeks! His adware flu is fatal! Yeah, yeah, whatever. I need to earn enough money. <laughs> The computer bugs in his adware flu are extremely deadly, and if he's not cured by tomorrow morning, he'll go corrupt, glitch like crazy, and explode! You mean, he'll die? Yes! Could you excuse me for a moment? I gotta get that money! I need to buy that cure for Victor or he'll explode! What do I do?! Okay, I'll just order it now and pay for it later when I earn the money. All I gotta do is look up the cure and see if I can order the- OUT OF STOCK?! No, 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 no! I can't let this happen! I can't let Victor explode! I gotta call the company that manufactures the cure and ask them to send a bottle! Hello? Abnormal Liquids Incorporated? I need a bottle of Adware Flu Cure immediately! 
I need it mailed to me before tomorrow morning. Please mail it to 2149 North Drainpipe Avenue. Under the name Matthew Dalen Lit. Hello? Rats! I gotta pay the phone bill. I have no money. And I still need to figure out how to get the presents, cheer up Stanley, and get a new tree. Well... I think I may solve the problem with Stanley's unhappiness. I can't believe I'm doing this, but... Time for jolly old Saint Nick to prove his existence. Ho ho ho! Is that? No, it couldn't be. I'm hearing things. Ho ho ho! It is I, Santa Claus! <gasps> Santa Claus! I can't believe it! I thought you weren't real! Oh no, I am real. I just, uh, spread rumors that I was a myth, you know, to keep the paparazzi away. Not to mention autograph hounds. If we could just keep this little secret to ourselves... Hey, everyone! Guess who's here? What is it, Stanley? This better be important. Santa Claus? The actual Santa Claus? What's with all the clamoring? Can a severely injured duck get some rest around here? Santa Claus! I can't believe it! How'd you heal up so fast? I'm wacky quacky. What can't I do? Well, it was nice to meet you all. I'd best be... Where's the presents? Huh? Your Santa, right, mate? Where's the bloody gifts? Well, I think I- Thank goodness that you came! Victor needs to be cured immediately, or else he'll go kablooey! Kablooey? And I heard our creator screaming that the cure was out of stock, so you could solve that problem, right? Oh, would you look at the time! I gotta run off, I mean, ride my sleigh with my reindeer. Merry Christmas, have a nice day, goodbye. See ya! He seemed kind of odd, how he just left like that. He didn't even go back up the chimney like the story said he would. And I didn't even hear him call out his eight reindeer's names. Nine. What? Don't tell me you're excluding Rudolph. Whatever. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh my goodness! I know! Medium? That's way too small! No, Zack! That suit was from the mall! That wasn't Santa! That was an imposter! We've been tricked? Let's get him! Now all I have to do is return the Santa suit, and that'll be the end of that. I succeeded in cheering up Stanley and Wacky's bones have healed, somehow, but I still have to think about what I have to do about the presents, the tree, and Victor's adware flu. There he is! Ah! What am I doing? I can't hide like this! I gotta reason with them! Stupidest ideas. All right, imposter. Thought you could get away with this, huh? Not talking, huh? Well, I'm gonna make you talk. Hey, Stanley. I think you should just unmask him. All right, Santa Claus. Or should I say, Matthew? Why? Why would you do this? I'm so sorry, Stanley. I felt terrible about breaking your heart when I told you that Santa was fake. I thought the only way to make things right was to dress up like Santa Claus and make you believe that he was real. You must hate my guts now. Hate your guts? I'm touched, Matthew. Huh? But I tricked you. You went through all this trouble to cheer me up. You truly are a good friend. Thanks, Stanley. But there's still no tree and no presents. You don't really have to get the presents, Matthew. It is hard to buy gifts for 300 characters. It's gonna be 299 characters by tomorrow, Stanley. This is awful. It'll take nothing short of a miracle to save Christmas. Santa Claus, real or not, you're our last hope. I just need a little faith. Dear Santa Claus, we really need you. I'm not trying to sound needy or anything, but our family is in trouble. Matthew doesn't have money to buy presents, our tree has accidentally been burnt down, and Victor is near death. I spent the last week denying your existence, but due to our catastrophe, you're the only one we can turn to. Santa, if you're out there, please help us in any way you can. Sincerely, Stanley the Half-Man, Half-Camel. <laughs> Christmas. Uh, catastrophe. Oh, hey, baby, I'll tell you, how about that unhappy ending? Mm. I sure hope this works. I thought I already destroyed that in the Halloween special.
I feel awful. I can't believe I let my characters down. I'm afraid to even open this door and let the extreme guilt slam my vision. Well, here goes. How? Merry Christmas, Matthew. Everyone has presents! There's a new tree! But, but how did this happen? I wrote a letter to good old Jolly Saint Nick himself, and I mailed the Christmas list with it. Santa? It can't be. This must have happened some other way. But how? I didn't have enough money to buy the presents, and the tree burnt down, and Victor- Victor! <laughs> yes? Not now, Victor. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Victor! You're alive! But how? The cure? But they were out of stock! Hey, Matthew. This was in your stocking. A clever cartoon ideas guidebook? I always wanted this book, but I didn't even ask for it. If that's not a Christmas miracle, I don't know what is. Does this mean that- Nah, it couldn't be. Santa's not ri- What? That- that could be some kind of machine or something. That couldn't be Santa and his eight reindeer. Nine, huh? Rudolph, in the front. How is that Ru- <gasps> The glowing red nose! That is Santa Claus! This really is a Christmas miracle! Stanley. Huh? I'm sorry that I failed to get the money. If it wasn't for Santa Claus, you'd all be without presents and Victor would be dead. I never would have forgiven myself. Don't be sorry, Matthew. You tried. That shows that you truly care for us. That's all that matters. And don't worry, to make sure this catastrophe doesn't happen again, we've prepared our Christmas list for next year. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Stanley. Care to give us a closure, Wacky? Thanks, Matthew! Merry Christmas! Oh, and a Happy New Year!